Do you have a lot of media on your hard drive you want to watch? And you would want to watch that on your phone with just Wi-Fi, no cables. Well, this video is going to help you do just that. To set this up, you take your external hard drive and plug the USB into your Wi-Fi router. So in my case, Rogers is the supplier and the Wi-Fi and modem is two in one. So you plug that in and then you head over to the computer. Uh, go to the web page for the router and type in your login information. Go in now. Your router might be different, but it's generally fairly easy to find where the page is. There's not a whole lot of options. In this case, go to admin, uh, go into USB storage settings, and it will show you the network drive or the hard drive is already connected on the network and there's an address for it. Type that address and if you can see the contents of the hard drive, you're all set. Now head over to the phone, go to the VLC app. And if you're not already in the local network, select that folder. Um, that folder name is the same as the address we copied earlier. Now I'm reading the contents of my hard drive right now and I'm able to play this video with very little uh, lag to start and definitely no lag when playing. So this is HD video uh, playing no problem. To get this app, if you don't already have it, uh, you can find it on Play Store or the uh, iPhone app store uh, it's for it's free there's no ads in it and vlc is a uh, quite an old name it's installed on a lot of work computers so yeah just install that app and now you can watch video on your phone as uh, so it's basically like your personal streaming surface uh, you can stream directly from your hard drive that's plugged into the wi-fi router and uh, now you can play it anywhere in the house. You can play some home videos too. The quality is just amazing. So there's um, a few other things you can do. You can map the drive onto your laptop and now the hard drive will serve as your personal cloud inside your home. You can access all that file without uh, going on the internet actually. So this is all internal or local within your own Wi-Fi network. I'm just showing you how to map the drive here. I'm again pasting that address that was copied from the router page earlier and just paste that into the mapping network drive dialog. And there we go. I mapped my drive to M. So now I can see all these folders there on my hard drive. So it's as if you have a five terabyte drive plugged onto your network that you can access from any device. Now, while this is great, it has several drawbacks. The first one is uh, transfer speed. So right now I'm transferring one file from, the, uh, from my computer to the hard drive and it's getting about five megabytes per second. The reason is the hard drive is connected through a USB 2.0 port to the Wi-Fi router and that is the bottleneck right now. My Wi-Fi signal speed is actually a lot greater. It is about 350 megabits per second, which is about 50, 50 megabytes per second. And the hard drive when connected through a USB 3.0 to my computer runs over 100 megabytes per second. So those are not the speed limit. That five megabyte per second transfer was because the hard drive is connected through a USB 2.0 to the router. I don't have a dedicated router. The, uh, my internet service provider provides a modem that has Wi-Fi capabilities. So it's a modem router two in one. Um, to get a better speed, I will need to buy a router that has USB 3.0 port at the back and be able to support uh, better signals potentially. 
Another problem with the setup is I can't see the Asian characters or Chinese characters in my folders. So right now uh, on my hard drive, there are these folders with non-Latin letters. And now if I'm accessing it through the network, you'll see all those folders are gone. And I'm not sure about symbols, but anything that's now sort of North American Latin letters will be a problem. The third problem is with TV. You can see TV doesn't see the network drive as a source to be able to play. And this is because TV only recognize sources that are media stream sources. So if I go back to my computer and turn my computer into a streaming server, the TV is going to be able to see that. And there are routers out there. Uh, basically, most like most of the router or all of the routers that's more than $150 will have media server function. Sometimes they go by the name DLNA or UPMP or media server, uh, whatever the word is, it means it can stream. So it's not just a SMB file server. And in that case, you can see on my TV, it recognizes the computer stream now. And this is TV accessing the computer file over Wi-Fi. This is my computer, it's not the network hard drive I plugged in. So just in case you have any troubles with setting this up, I'm just showing you all my network settings on the computer. Everything's standard, all default settings. Um, if, however, it doesn't work for some reason, you can check it out. I normally turn media streaming off, so my TV is not gonna be able to see my computer, and uh, so it doesn't always show up. Now I'm going to just quickly go through what's wrong with this method. So you can actually plug the hard drive directly into your phone if you have a USB converter. However, the problem here is your hard drive is drawing power from your phone and you won't be able to watch for long. And most hard drives are NTFS file format, so an Android phone won't be able to read it. Well, now that you know how to do this, you can enjoy videos anywhere in the house wirelessly and you can access all the content you have on the hard drive. So buying a new router, uh, three things I'm going to look for. One is that it has a USB 3 port at the back and two, it is able to recognize Asian characters. And that one's hard to know because it's not usually on the specifications. So I will just gamble on buying a product. For example, ASUS or TP-Link are made in Taiwan and China respectively. So better luck there, I think, than Linksys and Netgear, which are uh, American companies. And last but not least, I need a router that supports media server or streaming uh, in addition to SMB file server. That will allow the TV to see the network hard drive as well. And that will be the dream. So basically TV, phone, iPad, computer, all can access the hard drive over the network. And the, those kind of routers generally are about somewhere between $150 and $400, depending on what functions you're looking for. I found two or three that's about $200 that will have all those functions. And um, I'm going to buy one later and test it out. So if you like this video, uh, give it a thumb up at the bottom. And if you want to see me trying out the new router in the future, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.